Take a look. Do you think this set of spoons is new? Actually, it's well over 30 years old. But the spoons look like new, right? That's because they're in their original wrappers. In this lesson, I'd like to talk about new things, or things that look like new. I thought it was a good time to study such expressions since we're getting ready to start a new year. English with Jennifer Expressions about new things So these spoons have been in my family for a long time, and they were passed on to me. I think if I hadn't told you that they were over 30 years old, and instead I said they were brand new, you would have believed me. Brand new means completely new, never used. If something is brand new, it was probably just bought, created, or introduced. For example, he's driving a brand new car. We could also use this word with people. For example, we've got a brand new football coach. So in that case, the person is completely new and different. Perhaps they've just introduced the coach or just made this announcement. And you will see this written with and without a hyphen. Now these other spoons I got in Russia, maybe 10 years ago, I love them. I've used these at tea parties. Unfortunately, one of them broke, but with the help of some really strong glue, I was able to fix it. And I bet you can't tell which one was the broken one. It's as good as new. As good as new means that something is used and not new, but it's in great condition. It was possibly broken, but now it's been fixed and it looks perfect. For example, look, I fixed the vase. It's as good as new. Do you know I did almost all of my holiday shopping online this year? I remember as a teenager and as a young woman, I went to stores and carried large, heavy shopping bags as I found presents for family and friends. But today, it's a whole new ball game. Thankfully, for busy parents, we can shop online and have everything delivered, often for free. It's a whole new ball game means it's a completely new or different situation. We can use it in a variety of situations, from politics to business. As long as there's been a radical change in the way things are done or in the circumstances, then you can say it's a whole new ball game. You'll also hear it's a whole different ball game, and you'll see ball game written as one word or two. Here's an example. Political candidates still travel to meet voters, but with social media in wide use, it's a whole new ballgame. It's a whole new ballgame is a baseball idiom. If a team was doing badly and then starts winning, well, it's a whole new ballgame for the players. Have you ever been the new person? You may think that being new is scary or somehow stressful, but actually, being new to a group can be a good thing. Sometimes, especially in a work situation, people are looking for fresh ideas or a new source of energy or excitement. For that reason, companies try to attract new blood. New blood refers to new people, or just new members of a group. They bring in new ideas, new energy, that positively affects others. For example, the company is hoping to hire new blood and grow the team.
Finally, I'd like to go over an expression that could be confused with common greetings. You've probably heard friends say, Hi, what's new? Or, Hey, what's new with you? It's the same as asking, How have you been? Or, How's it going? But now consider a different situation. You and I are standing here and we're waiting for our friend, Justin. But Justin is late. Ugh, what else is new? Justin's always late. So, what else is new means this is not surprising. Nothing has changed. Note that it's a comment, not a question. Again, our example. Hey, where's Justin? Oh, he's late. Ugh, what else is new? We use this expression as a complaint, or even as a joking complaint, so we may not be really mad when we say, yeah, what else is new? All we're saying is that you're not telling me anything surprising or anything I don't already know. Let's try an exercise to review our expressions with the word new. First, I'll tell you a little story and then you'll help me complete five sentences. A new holiday tradition? At a holiday party about two years ago, all the guests were invited to bring presents. The idea was to clean up around the house and re-gift things we had never opened or rarely used. So people wrapped up books, CDs, and household items. Regifting is kind of like recycling. Some gifts were funny because no one wanted the item that someone was trying to give away. Is it okay to regift a present you got but didn't want? I think so, as long as you're not hurting anyone's feelings and another person might truly appreciate an item more than you can. Now complete the five statements. 1. When you re-gift something, the item has to be in good condition. In fact, it has to be... 2. As good as new. 2. Take a look and then I'll tell you the answer. I received a brand new pair of gloves. The price tag was still attached. 3. Melanie was supposed to come to the party, but she never showed up. Well, what else is new? She often plans to do one thing and then does another. 4. The family that hosted the party had just moved to our street. The neighborhood needed some new blood, and their party was a success. Regifting was a fresh idea. 5. It's a whole new ball game how the internet is changing holiday traditions, from sending party invitations to buying presents. 5. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies. And happy new year. I wish you all the best. Please visit my website and you'll find lots of resources, including a quiz for this lesson. I have over 100 free interactive exercises. Click to view my list of recommended resources. Be sure to click and see my current teaching schedule.